Ouais. So this is a quick review for all of you guys. Hey guys, today we were just, um, we did some warm up with grip fighting and I taught my students how to do the arm drag into kind of the Russian OB style, which was uh, first developed by the Russians back in the 70s. They were very really dominant in grabbing and grabbing the belt line. Okay, so they will, if you look up the, the history of judo, they were, they started doing it and it pissed a lot of people off because traditionally, go ahead. This is how judo is usually taught back in, uh, when judo was first came because it was introduced by the Japanese. And then the Russian, because of the jacket wrestling background, because they did a lot of wrestling, they were influenced by other style of grappling. When they went to the Olympic, they threw everyone off because their judo was so different. Right? It would, a lot of people hated it. They, cut, they considered power judo because these Russian guys were completely jacked up. Who knows, maybe they were on steroids. <laughs> It's likely, you know, they were pioneers of that. And um, their style was very, um, a lot of the things were over the back grip. And they would come in with like crazy suit back flow. Like boom, come in, boom, stuff like that, okay? So it just threw a lot of people off. Anyways, I actually like that style of wrestling, uh, judo, because it blends very well in MMA. Um, I see the connection between judo and wrestling, and it works very well for MMA. Um, I'm, I'm second degree in judo, but to be honest, my judo's not very good. I'm not very physical. So the way I look at judo is a little bit different. Um, so if you guys want, look up Mongolian judo and uh, Russian judo. The way they train judo is very similar to wrestling. It's not very very upright style, like, like Japanese style. Right? So theirs is all like here and like just grabbing and everything. And I like that because it blends very well to MMA. Okay? Uh, you see wrestling. So in other words, it's like a bridge. So you, you, you see judo component, you see wrestling component. And that way, when you watch wrestling videos, you understand what they're doing. And when you watch judo videos, you understand what they're doing. But like you're not too extreme on one end, stylistically. Anyways, um, we work on the arm drag passing over into all sorts of moves. Um, I introduced the scissor trip, the scissor throw. That's, this move is not legal in judo, because um, if you do it wrong, you can injure someone's knee. And the reason why you can injure someone's knee is you apply pressure to the knee versus around the waist level, okay? So I'm gonna just review it really quick. It took my students maybe like 10 minutes to learn it. And at first they had difficulty with it and then they picked it up really fast, okay? So we're gonna start off by basically, he's gonna grab my elbow sleeve and I'm gonna pass it and not gonna let him. And a way to minimize his grip is to bend the elbow, right? So right now see how there's a lot of slack. When you bend it, you minimize the slack, okay? Right here. And then we pass it across. And we want to swim deep, get our body deep, and get us a really tight grip, and then pull in really tight, right here, okay? And now we're moving around, we can go all sorts of throw, but for now we're gonna introduce the scissor sweep, I think the scissor throw, which is not allowed in judo, but you see it a lot in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You're gonna scissor your leg in, and if you, if you need the extra flight time, you can drop your hand and move your hip into him. Like that. And notice I dropped my hand. Okay, so one more time on this side. So to minimize, so you're wrapping with someone, right? Right here. See what I just did? I see grass in my sleeve, I pull away, and then my arm drag across, and I want to swim across his back and pinch in. Right here. So now I can do gapping, okay? And from here, put a pull in, drop my hand, put a wing plane, and come in. Okay, minimize the grip. Or the grip or the angle. Minimize the grip. Okay, if you need to, yank away. Boom. Pass it across. And turn really hard. Boom. Okay, and from here, just make sure your partner's, you know, lock up your partner's elbow by accident. And now you're gonna drop your hand. You don't have to drop your hand if you're fast. And you have a lot of like up and down motion, which I don't have. I don't practice this move a lot. And you're gonna drop a hand. If you drop it too far, it does not support the body weight. You have to drop it inside your mat. So I'm gonna drop it. Okay. Then we talked about sumogashi. 
but we didn't have time to review it and teach it. So I introduced Feynman carry from the far side. The Feynman carry is very important because it acts like a bridge into double leg and single leg. So we'll do the traditional Feynman carry. Okay, one second, switch your, switch your stance for a second. So he grabs my neck, we're here, we level change, and what I noticed, you had a hard time with Feynman carry, is because your shoulder was hovering past your knee. So I'll get Feynman carry, if you look at this red line, my shoulder should be between my knee and my ankle. If you bring your shoulder past your knee, now you're doing almost a good morning. So what you want to do is you want to work on this axis point. Okay, so when you guys come in, you guys will come in, but you wouldn't bring your body into this mass. So think of him as an umbrella, and you want to shoot underneath, right in the middle of the umbrella. So what you guys would do is um, pretend he's here, okay? And you guys will shoot like this. See how the red line is? Versus shooting in like this. See? So my elbow seems right on the red line. So you want to get within that area. Now obviously you might not get it all the time, but if you're pretty close to it, it saves you a lot of problem because anatomically it's more correct, right? So for example, we're here, down, down my neck. And if I come in, see, see the problem? Yeah. See I'm too far away, right? First, as I come in, see how I'm sitting right over, right? So let's just say he, let's just say he stops, his, he drops his hand down, because he, he's able to now make the because my spinal structure is correct. If it's here, my spinal structure is not correct, then I lose mobility. Everyone see this? So now I can versus killing with my back. So a lot of a lot of places teach you killing with your back. And what they'll do is they'll get you jump over the neck. I find that very painful. And I don't know why school teachers like that. Maybe because the entry is wrong. I prefer a perfect axle point. So if you have a hard time, you can grab cables, like, right? you know, the cable, like just bungee cord and come in. And this is it. Right? Now you do it wrong, it's going to feel like this. Right? You guys get what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go back to our theme, which is the cross arm. So we're here, we cross arm, and now we're gonna enter into five and carry, Katakuruma. So we can enter through the far side. So right now this leg might be in front of me. Take this foot forward. So we're gonna split it open. Okay, can you fall down yet? Okay, so we split, and now far side. And notice I'm sitting perfectly, so not like this. See, that's what you guys are doing. See this? And now, I dump. You get what I'm saying? So I dump what I lost my grip there, but that will help a lot. Okay? Here, I enter into the same side. See how I'm sitting? Okay? Pull, and I enter on the opposite side. Pull with the And I enter. Now I can switch my hand right here. Okay, so let's just say I can get perfect alignment. I'm okay to switch into single leg kick down. This way, what you want to do is you want to feel the pull and get them hovering like an umbrella. And now you can do it. Okay? So really important to get that pull. If they can pull themselves upright, then you have to switch to a different move. So the secret is to feel if they're pulling up their arm, like if they're jerking a lot more. If their hand is down, there's a lot of way to manipulate. You want to keep it down. There's just so many ways. You can tilt, you can lift, you can do all sorts of stuff. But the minute his hand's up, then you're fighting this hip. That means you have to go for single, double, or whatever. But with the hovering like this, there's so many ways you can do it. Okay, everyone got that? Okay, anyways, we're going to run out of time. Uh, was that cool? Now that got, now that I've explained it again, was that some details you guys picked up? Yeah. All right, good job. Let's uh, let's grapple. Is that cool? Dave, grapple whoever you like. Take it slow. That's the thing I got. If you guys just want to play, I'm playing. Yeah. I, mean, I'm I'm grapple. Play, I can right? grapple with Dave. I only have four hours of sleep. Charlie, you Charlie, everyone can grapple with Dave. You guys, yeah. they just grapple nice and slow. Okay, good job, guys. Let's finish up with grappling. Oh, okay. okay.
I forgot to make it live.